Well, it's been a few days. We're gonna try and get it out now. I've got a, a trolley jack kind of thing we can use. This trolley dolly thing. <laughs> I need your help moving. <laughs> right, should we put this behind? Right, Dad, when you pick it up, you're going to have to move that way. It doesn't matter about that for now. What we need to do is pick get it, it on, on the floor, floor without breaking me we'll drive. Yeah, and without breaking our fingers. Uh, all that plank of wood. Ah, I'll get Where it. Where is it? I'll get it. Yeah. Oh. See, people are laughing like, oh, why are you taking that woodworm? Well, exactly this, because what we're going to have to do is put it on the floor on the plank of wood so we can get our fingers underneath it or get our fingers out without breaking it. It's going to be more difficult this time. No, what we'll do, take it from either end again, but then we'll put it down on this bit on the floor and then onto the plank rather than um, lifting it up this way. <laughs> it's going to be a lot heavier. It's going to be more dense. It seems easier when it's led down. But it's going to be like this. Look at all the dirt. It's seeped out of it. There's dirt all over it. Imagine if, imagine if it just opened. Sorry, let's go, back to business. Alright, come on boys, Chuckle Brothers. No, 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 no. To me, to me, to, he's already started. Don't damage the car. Could have done with your light on here, though. Remember, do not break. Just, Granddad's. Just watch this lip. And watch the car. Alright, it's good to Right. Do you have a solid jammer? Uh, have a crowbar. Pickaxe. Right, so I think what we'll have to do, we we'll have to take a trip to B&Q tomorrow, pick up what we need. By the way, this isn't the same night. It's been a couple of days because it's been raining like hell. So it's been in the, in the back of the car for a couple of days. I'm going out filming tonight somewhere else. I can't just keep it in the car because it weighs it down so much. I'm scared of going through the back window. So um, tomorrow I'm going to come back. I'm going to go to B&Q, I'm going to buy all the equipment I need to, I'm going to look at all your suggestions from the last video, figure out a way to get in the safe. Size to this farmer and the rain. Apart from that, I'm excited because the rain doesn't bother me. well, oh, it bothers my camera. But yeah. we are um, going to a, an abandoned car graveyard now. I've known about this for a while, never really bothered doing it because I just I don't know why. I have no idea why. Considering I am not only a GTR guy, but I am a BMW guy, you know, I still got the E30 and there's quite a number of uh, old school 6 Series uh, M Sports abandoned in this location. Not only that, there is like a Sierra, uh, I'm not sure if it's a Cosmo or if it was a um, one of those 4x4, what did they call it? It was a Sierra 4x4 IRS, weren't it? So I, I'm excited to go and see all this stuff. There's a there's boat cars uh, and the fire engine, uh, old fire engine, but these cars are immaculate inside. So I'm gonna try and go for as much as I can without getting shot by a farmer. This is out in the middle of nowhere, and, and me and Reeman are looking at each other, and we saw the map, and we're thinking, yeah, we we kind of hope no one lives nearby, or imagine if some crazy ass farmer comes out. I've had enough of crazy ass farmers. So what are you thinking, Weeman? No idea, man. 
<laughs> I'm in two minds about this one. It's a bit risky. Are you ready? Are you ready, bro? I'm ready. I think you're more than ready. I I'm ready, I'm just worried. <laughs> Well, I'll be honest, when I first came in and looked at the pin, me and Felicity, our first words were, I hope it's not a, like a traveller's site, because it looked like a traveller's site, didn't it, when we first come and I thought, yeah. we're going to get chased off if we come down here. So I was pretty worried, and you were too, weren't you? Yeah, that's interesting. Because the last thing I want is to go and swap on, whose land we shouldn't be on, and then having to run off. Yeah, true, true. Well, shout out to Felicity on this one. That's why Felicity gave me this pin. So if something does go wrong, I'm blaming her anyway. Yeah, I'm, blaming <laughs> I'm, blaming, I'm blaming Felicity. <laughs> I've known about this place for so long. I just I don't know why I've never been. Well, I never had the pin, but I just I never pursued it. And maybe there's a reason behind that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out tonight. <laughs> if I get my ass bit off by a dog, I'm blaming you. Oh, there's no dog. Oh, well, look, you know. I know. I can't see where I'm going. I'm in the mud. I wish we'd rub me behind them. But I'm sinking. <laughs> I'm gonna turn the ice all right up. It might look a bit grainy, guys, but I'm gonna be able to see a lot better in the dark. Oh man, I'm in the water. Don't fall down. Bro, this is getting bad. <laughs> oh my, it's only a bit of water. I don't mind getting my feet wet. It stinks, though, doesn't it? It does smell bad. It's stagnant water. Oh, A three or nine. It's either an SR. It's got the G. It's got the GTI nine wheels on it, bro. No, it's not got GTI steering Probably an SR. One four SR. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. Close it just to keep it as nice as possible. They're nice wheels. They come off the GTI. Uh, what the one point nine GTI two or five. Oh, I'm walking to the tree. Well, as you all know, I'm a car guy as well, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Oh, falling in a hole. There's a fire engine. There's a fire engine just sat there. What the hell? Oh, I see more cars, oh it's loads of them. Look at this little thing. I think it's the GT. What? It's similar to that. It's a GT, something, isn't it? Uh, no, is it not? It look, I mean, it looks English, I don't, I don't exactly know properly. Oh my god. Bro, bro, that's a, a, a Sierra, a Sierra 4x4i RS, I'm pretty sure of it. It is. XR4, bro, it's an XR4 4x4 4, 4 RS. It's a sick car, isn't it, bro? Bro, you have no idea. Holy sh**. In good condition, these sell really well. Bro, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to find a car like this. <gasps> a 7 Series! Bro, it's an old 7 Series! Do you know oh what engine's crap. in this? With a guess. 2.5, uh, 2.5? V6. 2.5 V6. Yeah. It's, the old, it's an old one, this one. Pretty clean, all that. 
Oh man, the ins yeah, it's not bad. It's had recent weeds on it. Got the turbo there. Just uh, be quiet with that. that. That worries me if it's got recent leads on. Why would there be recent they leads? Look fair, they look fairly new though, wouldn't they? Yeah, that worries me a little bit. Bro, the 7 Series is sick. What what E was this one? There was the 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 one up from this one was E thirty eight. So which one would this this would have been the one before the E thirty eight? What would it have been? E twenty four? No. Don't know, guys. What what E number was this? The one above this was the E E uh, thirty. I think it was E thirty eight. And then obviously I think the 60 summer. That is nice. Oh man, it's clean inside. It is clean inside. There's another one there. Another 7 series. The 3.2. I think this is a this is a V8. This is a 3.5 V8, I think this one. 3.2 I think it's a straight 6. What do you think of the old um, S6 boys look? Yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Is it a P4? Yeah. What this thing I think. But it's clean inside though. Very yeah, clean. I mean it looks clean inside. Wheatman, is that a P4? P4? This one. <gasps> look at the Honda Prelude. Is that Honda Prelude? It is. It's Honda Prelude. <laughs> Say, this God oh, knows his cars. Manly. Oh, bro, that's a six series. That's a, uh, a CSI. Bro, oh my God. There's two of them. There's another one. One of them's got a the full level. Bro, holy shit. You, bro, do you know how much money these cars are worth? They're worth thousands, bro. You have no idea. Thousands. No way. I can't believe these are here. I actually can't believe these are here. And another one. Three of them. Check the full levers in this one. Three of them. I mean, this would have been top notch back in the blue day. on blue, bro. Holy shit. You don't even understand, bro. I mean, I've been to a lot of car graveyards. I've been to a lot of car graveyards, but this is one of the top ones. I like it, yeah. What? I like it. Yeah. Good, in it? Bro. Do you know what? I can remember Do you remember Jack Graveyard? Yeah. Yeah, we just started behind that. We all claimed to I don't care, bro. Oh, no, the 6 Series CSIs. Mm -hmm. Bro, the CSIs. You remember one of them? <clears throat> yeah. The old Rover went out of production in 2000. Was it four? I've been to, I went to the Rover uh, the Rover MG abandoned factory. Did you? Yeah. In Birmingham, years ago. It's like an abandoned business. What do you reckon? Let's have a look at going there. I was thinking that the last time I was here was it someone's business what I mean look at it. It looks like it. I don't know, I just think it's a typical farm there. Really? Yeah. Reminds me of being on my own farm. So being shop potential. Yeah, what? Bro, the prelude. They look sick nowadays. I never used to like them, but now they're just that old school look. Oh, no way. I've not seen an Orion in years. No way. Yeah. How come we missed this? Oh, it's not free No way. Oh my god, there is as well. Bro, jump over. Come on, let's go. So there was more cars. 
Wow, my dad used to have one of them. In yeah. white. There's a white one there. That's a, that's a Mark III Escort, that one in front. Yeah. Oh my god. I'll be Bro, from the maps, it looks like they go all over that way. It's an LX. <laughs> an old LX. It's so long in here. Oh wow, this has been here. Check that though, on the door, the paint. Yeah, it's been here for a long time, this. There's the old Volvo, isn't it? Uh, is that a Volvo? I don't know, is it or a Dave? Yeah. Nissan. Old Nissan. It's an old feeding yeah, bar. Yeah, but I don't know if you want to see it out all the time. Let's just not go through that way. No, there's something out. Right, go on then. Hey bro, the tires are still in good nick. Huh. That's crazy. I had these phones. I think people are coming through there. If there's cars here, there's got to be more cars going out. There's more to I thought I smell a drain there as well. Look, it's my weed. What do you say? You could smell it instead of open big We should do it lights out though. What together? Yeah, I'm a little bit worried because obviously there's a lot of money's worth of stuff here. We can smell weed and we don't know what the house is next door. Now, if it's a weed grow, that makes it even more less if we get caught because obviously, <laughs> yeah. We've been going to tell you about that, what they do to people who catch them. I mean, that them tracks going through there might just be people going through there. Thank you. 
I know, you're making me paranoid. It looked like there was no tr car tracks going onto this place, so. Unless you want to do that last, we'll go the other way and do it. Plain sight rather than sneaking through here. We'll do that instead then. Yeah, we'll do it we'll do it on the main path so it doesn't look so just a few shitty wagons uh, and tractors and loads of tin stuff here. Yeah, let's go around the, the back and what we'll do we'll walk around that way because it doesn't look as suspect. I think whether all makes us pass away. Yeah, maybe. This is a chicken feed, uh, feed isn't it? Huh? Yeah, I saw it down there. I'm just so glad I got to see these, they're amazing. It's not often you get to roll up on a, a few 6 series and a couple 7 series. And inside is so clean. It's funny because most of the dashboards and stuff is the same as my uh, E30, 1987 E30. and then have a scout about. He's a Mark III van there. What happened last time we went snooping round abandoned uh, fire engines, Reitman? at some abandoned fire engines. Danny, we 
we had a really bad experience once with abandoned fire engines. Yeah. I'll show you a clip. Als ze uit Amerika ze zouden graag een kijkje binnen nemen. Zou dat kunnen? Onaangekondigd zomaar, nee. Van waar komen jullie? Wat bende is dat? Uh, ja, ze komen uit Amerika. En ja, dat heb je al twee keer gezegd. Ja. En dan? Maar? Maar, ja, ja. Onaangekondigd hier. Niemand die weet dat dat hier is. You know what you can do? Hurry that you're going. Otherwise I'm going to play with your arms. Okay? Okay. There is no sorry. Immediately and go. Okay. Oh. From Carl's point of view, before he went back to the car, you can clearly see there was no handle of any kind of weapon in his pocket. Now roll the clip after he'd already been from his car. Immediately and go. Yo. What Yo. the hell what just the happened? What oh happened then? God, bro. He pulled a knife on us. Yo. Yeah. Is it the one with the guy? Said he was going to play with our asses. Yeah, I've we're, seen that outside. Yeah, what's going on? We're cosh, yeah. That Dutch guy. I can see why you're so in it here tonight. Look yeah. that video, yeah. It is, bro. That's how I feel. <laughs> So we don't know the story as to why all this is abandoned. It's quite obvious that it's been untouched for a very long time. Now, untouched doesn't always mean abandoned. Some people just leave the stuff like this for 30, 40, 50 years. But it still belongs to someone, so we don't know the story. We don't know what's going on yet. Stop being paranoid, bro. <laughs> I'm paranoid because I got attacked by a dog last time. Wait, man. I was you. <laughs> bro, you've no idea. You'd never, none of you would even move as fast as me after what happened to me. Do you know I actually watched the video? The one where your bag got caught? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen the video. Oh, shit, my pants, mate. When I felt that dog get hold of my bag, mate. It was like someone, it was like you grabbed me and dragged my bag. Mm. You know what I mean? It was strong. So does that, is that like a phobia now every time you come out? Yeah, mate, when I put my bag on, you know, when you feel it. Yeah. If someone pulls on it when I'm out of the wall, I just send shivers up my body. I'm out of it. I'd be on my toes too, bro. Go on, go on. Go You can put it first. <laughs> Yeah, I've got I've got legitimate reasons. I've had so many crazy encounters. <laughs> Wait, wait, you're going that way? I'm curious about this house. Yeah, it's a public path, this. Who's leading me? I've got trainers on me. I want to see where you are, Slit. Bucky fell over. Let me know. Uh, should we come back? Because there, there's stuff we haven't seen. I'm pretty sure of it. And obviously there's a house next to it. It's, it's got scaffolding on it. It does look like it's on an abandoned lot of land. Whether it's being refurbished or if it's abandoned. I think we'd have to come back for a day. We would have to come back for a daytime one. So uh, let me know below. Daytime or not. Someone's going to have to go in front of a light. Run out of light. 
There's trucks and farm equipment everywhere. It's got to all be abandoned. What was that? It's a tractor. Right, well, uh, I mean, I really enjoyed seeing what we saw. I'm disappointed we came at night, but you know what? It's it's difficult, uh, obviously, during all this, what's going on, um, to get out during the day and film. Uh, obviously, you know, we do we do this as a job, uh, so we can't work from home, so we have to go out. So when we do go out, I choose to go out at night, so we don't come into contact with as many people. Well, with no people, just the bubble. But I hope you did enjoy it, and like I said, if you want to see us come back, definitely, definitely let me know in the comments below, because otherwise I won't know. And definitely hit that like button as well, because the more likes I see on a video, the more I know whether to do more like that in the future. So if I get a lot of likes, I'll do more car graveyards. And also, definitely tune into my live stream, a special live stream, on the 27th of this month, which is only next week, where I drop the brand new underground merch set. It is gonna be off. We're gonna have a lot of people on there. We're gonna have a lot of your favorite YouTubers. We're gonna be having a lot of fun. It's gonna be a live stream not to be missed. And you already know High Times Exploring. Anyway, it doesn't stop here. We've got another spot to hit tonight. We're trying to do as many as possible. This was the second. We're moving on to the third. And this, this Sunday coming, the grand reveal of the safe from Random Autica is being opened. I should have done it uh, yesterday, I think it was, or the day before, but I've just not had chance. I've not had chance. Simply, I don't have the tools to get in it, but I do now. I'm going to be opening the, the, the safe tomorrow. I'll be opening it tomorrow. It'll be on Sunday, the video. So definitely check out Sunday's video. What is in that safe? We'll find out then. Oh! Oh, hold on a second, it's not over yet. I've, I've been attacked. The hell is that? Oh, these things all over me. I've been at Wheatman, help me. Help no me chance. get them off, get them, no get them off, bro. You're on your own there. They're gonna spike the hell on me. Oh, they're spiking my arm! They've got my arm, Wheatman. I'm gonna need to go to hospital and get it amputated quick. Don't leave me!